everyone, I'm Jackie, and I'm here to help you pass your U.S. citizenship interview. Today, I'm going over the 100 civics questions in random order with the simplest answer. I'll repeat it once, and make sure to stay until the end because I'm giving you a bonus question that you need to know for the interview. All right, get comfy. Are you ready? Let's do it. First question, where is the Statue of Liberty? The New York Harbor. Second question, what are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? and liberty. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris. What is the economic system in the United States? market economy. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves. The Emancipation Proclamation. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The Civil War. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. Who was the first president? George Washington. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Who vetoes bills? The President. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Crow. Name 
Name one branch or part of the government. President. When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Announced our independence from Great Britain. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote and run for office. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. Who is the governor of your state now? The answer will vary, so check the link in our description. Who signs bills to become law? The President. Who is the Commander-in-Chief of the military? The President. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. What is one promise that you make when you become a United States citizen? To be loyal to the United States. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. Name two national U.S. holidays. New Year's Day and Christmas. How are you doing? Let's do this. <laughs> Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Native Americans. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. What is the capital of your state? The answer will vary. Check the link in our description. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Vote in a federal election. 
Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. The Mississippi River. What are two cabinet level positions? Attorney General and Vice President. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes or taxation without representation. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? The Atlantic Ocean. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. Diplomat. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? To give a driver's license. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. In what month do we vote for president? November. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Any citizen can vote. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of speech and freedom of religion. When was the Constitution written? 1787. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War I. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. 
What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Mike Johnson. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. All right, break time. Stretch it out. Grab a drink of water. How are you doing? Do you know the answers? I hope you do. All right, get comfortable. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. We elect a president for how many years? Four. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? because there were 13 original colonies. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? The Civil Rights Movement. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. What is the name of the National Anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. Who makes federal laws? Congress. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. Name your U.S. representative. Answers will vary, so check the link in our description. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. John Jay. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. There were 13 original states. Name three. New York, New Jersey, 
and New Hampshire. What is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? The answer will vary, so check the link in our description. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The President. How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. Last stretch before the rest of it. We're almost done. Yay! <laughs> you guys are doing great. <laughs> If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. Name one U.S. territory. Guam. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Separation of powers. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because they have more people. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. And your bonus question, very important. What is the form of government of the United States? 
Republic. All right, we did it, yay! I hope you enjoyed this, I hope this helped. If you need more help, check out these videos and I will see you in the next practice session. Take care, study hard, bye.